It's another Ghost Host upload, and today we just gotta talk about the absolute lunacy that has been going on with Colleen Ballinger, otherwise known as Miranda Sings. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell if you enjoyed the video, trying to reach 10,000 subs by the end of the year. This video is going to be somewhat of a part one of two. In it, I'm just going to be giving a nice little summary of everything that has been going on with Colleen recently, and then I'm going to be making a video reacting to her apology video that has been all the buzz lately. So if you want to see that apology reaction video, then make sure to subscribe and stay tuned, because that is coming out soon. Anyways though, it's that time of the month, time to talk about another big time content creator getting exposed for being a horrible person behind the scenes. I feel like this happens way too often dude, but anyways, today's special guest is none other than Miranda Sings, real name Colleen Ballinger. She has over 13 million subs between her two channels, and she has been facing some very serious allegations recently, and had stayed relatively silent on the matter until dropping a new apology video to her second channel. But in this video, I'm just going to be going over all the events that have led us up to this horrible apology. This video is kind of like the Infinity War, and my following one will be the Endgame, if that kind of makes sense. So, it all started when this dude named Adam started coming out with some allegations against Colleen for doing some weird stuff with minors. When he was younger, Adam was a super fan of Ballinger, and after being found by Ballinger due to his fan account, he got invited to join this like weird group chat that Colleen had made with some of her biggest fans, most if not all of whom were minors. According to screenshots and evidence collected by Adam and others who were in the chat, Ballinger would talk with the minors about like super intimate details of her life, like her relationship drama, and would even ask the kids inappropriate questions revolving around topics. Now, I don't think I have to really explain why it might be a bad idea to be connected to your underage fans in such an intimate and personal manner, sharing private details about your life and asking them about theirs, and using your influence over them to coerce like information from them that they might not be comfortable sharing. Yeah, I don't think it really takes like Stephen Hawking to figure that one out. Uh, but basically, there's a fine line between like being nice to fans, right, and getting too close to them. And Ballinger had more than crossed that line, especially since these fans that she was talking to were minors in the most part, and especially, especially because she was asking them about like <laughs> topics and questions, like topics and minors like never go together okay like that, that that does not mix okay doesn't exactly take neil degrasse tyson to know that that's not a good idea okay like that's gonna blow up um in your face sooner or later at one time or another but anyways it gets even worse apparently ballinger would sometimes ask for inappropriate pictures of these children as you can see on screen now which is definitely moving on from the weird or creepy behavior category into just like disgusting revolting territory and like even if this is a joke right there is still absolutely no way you should ever even think about joking around with minors about like topics like this or like joking around like oh send me like a picture of your butt cheeks dude like that should never be a thing right like that that will never end well i don't know what was going through her head here and dude we don't even stop here there's more it's like one of those like uh as seen on tv commercials but wait there's more ballinger was also doing this little thing with her fans where she would send them some of her unused clothes as some kind of like reward or like joke or something i, I don't really get it but uh, I don't know, she seems like a pretty weird person. And because of the criticism Adam had been bringing on her, she thought for some reason that it would be so funny to send him some of her bras and underwear. Like, yeah, that decision is totally not going to make people think that you're a weird creepo and immediately believe the allegations brought against you. That's going to get them to all laugh and like, just be like, you know what, how funny of Colleen Ballinger to send a minor uh, undergarments of hers, you know, that's just so funny, that's not weird at all, like, no, 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 dude, safe to say, no one was laughing, and to make matters worse, yet again, I, I can't believe how many times I keep, like, adding to this, like I said, Adam was still a minor, he was 14 years old, dude was 14, when she was sending him, like, undergarments, why are you, as a 40-year-old woman, sending bra and underwear to a 14-year-old as some kind of, like, joke, like, 
really like like where's the funny dude super disgusting super weird and that just made like the whole situation revolving around her even worse and recently all of this drama has been getting back into the internet's attention thanks to some videos made by adam like all of this happened like maybe a few years ago right but it just started being talked about more now because adam started to make a few like uh, really popular videos on this topic and it started to become more like relevant once again and yeah Colleen seemed to just dismiss all of the drama surrounding her all of the allegations uh, coming up against her right now by just not releasing any kind of video or statement addressing the situation and she like stayed silent on the matter for a substantial amount of time there is a lot more info surrounding this situation, like I, I don't have time to go into like every single thing here, but if you do want to learn more about like everything that has been going on, I will link some of the videos where I got my information from in the description, so feel free to check those out if you want, if you want to get like caught up with everything going on, like learn about all the details. I'm kind of just giving a quick summary here again. And finally, this whole situation has finally culminated on June 28th. Uh, Colleen Ballinger released a song apology video, yes, an apology in the form of like a musical number, and it has been getting absolutely roasted, toasted, shreked, wrecked, and any other word to describe getting like destroyed online for possibly being like the worst YouTube apology to like ever grace the platform, to ever exist. And like I said at the beginning, I will be making a video reacting to this apology video. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell because that video is coming out soon. And if you want to catch it, then yeah, make sure you're subscribed. But anyways, that's pretty much all I got for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like the video and help me get to 10,000 subs before the end of the year. I'll catch you all on the next one. Have a great day.